Hi folks, good to be with you. I'm just at uh, the House of Parliament and uh, I'm just going to show you uh, the Parliament, uh, how heavily guarded it, it is and some of the things that you see. You see down here, officers there and uh, loads of armed guards there. You can see there. But in the beautiful statue here, I was just amazed at this statue. You know, it's just beautiful. Just amazing. It's uh, Richard the Lionheart. I was quite surprised to uh, see that there. What a beautiful statue that is. So then you've got the architecture. You go right up there, you see the architecture. And uh, so you see officers there. More architecture. So So we see a lot there, and uh, our, our nation's just confused at the moment. And I was reading John Piper today, uh, book The Pleasures of God, and it was really good. And he was talking about uh, that God rejoices in his son. And if you read uh, John uh, 17, the Lord uh, talks about the glory that he had before the world begun, be, began with the Father. And you might think, well, what has that got to do with Parliament? What's that got to do with politics? Well, while the Parliament is in confusion, wondering what to do, and the nation's in free fall, the most important thing for God is the glory of His Son. You know, often the Lord said, you know, glorify me with the glory that I had uh, before uh, before the world began and so in other words God's more interested in his own glory and history is moving to the glory of God and the nation in the UK might be in a mess but there's something more significant going on there is the the story of redemption the story of the calling of God's people and this is going on now even in confusing times even in the dark times of this country still God is saving his people even in the persecutions around the world God is saving his people so the other thing as well if you look at this building look at this building police officer there I think he thinks I'm a Al-Qaeda or something but if you look at the building, it, it, it's manufactured, it's made to, to give a feeling of authority. The whole building is made to, to give a feeling of authority. But Parliament has no authority, only that which God gives it. And the ultimate authority is in the Word of God. And if a Parliament does not stand on the Word of God, and doesn't honor the word of God, that parliament will not stand. So this parliament has departed from its ancient traditions because many of these ancient traditions were built on the word of God, on what the Bible said. And this parliament has departed away from that great, mighty bulwark, the word of God. And so this building might look authoritative but it has no authority if it has departed from the word and it has departed from the word of God it has departed from the word of God so the message today is don't be discouraged don't be discouraged by politics focus on the Son focus on Christ Focus on the spiritual realities of God and who He is and the glories of, that are to come 
uh, at the end of time and, and the glory of the faith and the glory of Christ and the glory that, that is about to revealed when Christ comes and focus your attention on eternity focus your attention on the Sun and focus your attention on heavenly things it says often in Colossians and many other books you know set your mind above don't think on earthly things but think of heavenly things the ancient ways have gone they've departed from them they've departed from them they guard this place with police they have ancient traditions like Richard the Lionheart there and they have all this grand architecture but our country departs has departed from the glory of God our country has rejected the ancient paths our country knows little if nothing of the glories to come but we the elect the saved the born again have tasted of a heavenly manna and we should continue to feast our mind and our heart upon heavenly things upon the spiritual realities of the Word of God and not be troubled not be troubled by the political collapse and shaking of our nation God bless you